Right, Chelsea. Uh, we have finally got concrete reports last week about who Emma Hayes' successor might be. Uh, the club have reportedly approached Leon's head coach, Sonia Bonpastor, and it's expected that Leon will allow her to arrange terms. Uh, Bonpastor won the Champions League with Leon back in 2022 and has two league titles to her name. So she is no... Um, you know, she's she's very familiar with silverware, especially European silverware, which is understandably something that Chelsea have uh, it's eluded them. Uh, some have questioned whether she's really instilled a distinct style of play at Leon, but she is known for preferring to work with younger players. Um, but I've got to say, I mean, despite obviously being the publication that kind of broke the news, and massive shout out to Charlotte Harper for doing that. Um, I I didn't see it coming. Is the obvious? It's <laughs> quite funny, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, women's football editor. Until I you're kind sitting of... there reading it, going, "What, <laughs> Charlotte? You never said <laughs> before the conversation with Charlotte that this was kind of like a, you know, a, a, this is happening." I didn't because she hadn't been yeah, named sure. in any of the kind of conversations. She's before. still under contract. I was still like Casey Stoney. There's still a chance, surely, <laughs> surely, come back. What I've been enjoying is everyone calling her a bomb pasta. Bombasta. I've enjoyed that. Emma Hayes called her Bombasta as well, um, <laughs> which I thought was quite funny. That was she, a great press conference. She did not want to speak about her yeah. in that press conference, which, to be fair to her, she made very clear from her first answer. And then she still got asked about her and it just made her really annoyed. I feel like Ch- Emma Hayes, in her press conferences this year, has been asked everything but what is happening for the game. It's either... Where are you going? Oh, you're retired. Uh, not retirement. You're leaving for the US Women's National Team. When are you going out there? What's going to happen to Chelsea? Listen, Who's the successor? Listen, Who's Sonia? You told no us. No one has said, oh, so really, what are your strategies for the week? You did ask a question. I did. On Thursday. But I was going to say, that. you you told us all in November. Mm. You made your bed in November. <laughs> People are going to bloody ask about it. And I agree. I find it annoying because I just wanted to ask about Manchester City. But at the same time, if you announce you're leaving and then you have like a six month leaving time span, people are going to ask you questions. Okay. Well, what do we think about Sonia then joining Chelsea? Because I, there has been a few kind of questions, even though she has had massive success with Leon. So have previous coaches. So had Jean-Luc Vasseur. It's that. And you do, when you look at the squad, when you look at Haran, you look at Reyna, you look at Ellie Carpenter, Aiden Winners. Hagerberg, Selma Basha. Va- Van der Dog, like it's kind of a squad that you can't not be successful. It's almost like you can't not because they're just so high quality, high caliber players. So, is it the squad, or actually is it the managers who are kind of bringing that all together? I've heard varying reports. Right. So I've had people saying exactly that. Yeah. Um. That you know you're you're coming in and you're taking over a squad of of winners. Um. So the bar is, I mean, the bar is high, but also so is the standard. Yeah. But then I've equally heard people who really rate her. Yeah. So it's an interesting one. Um, it's an interesting one from Chelsea to kind of go and, and try and get someone who's already contracted, which I think does say a lot about what Chelsea are willing to do. Mm. As in, they're not just going to sit around and wait for someone who, which I never thought they were going to sit around and wait. But, you know, they're willing to go out and get someone who they think is up to the job. Yeah, this is not an interim signing. This is not a kind of David Moyes, Manchester United, Alex Ferguson type roundabout. This they is want someone a winner. who's serious and long term. Yeah, and and reg- you know whether you're someone who thinks she's brilliant or someone who thinks that she's kind of riding on the coattails of her team, she's experienced winning. She's experienced working with winners, playing. She, she at playing. She knows um, what it takes to win, and you know the standards that are set and all that kind of stuff. So. You know, you can argue better that than bringing someone in who hasn't won before and maybe it's going to be big and new for them. At least that change for her won't be such a a daunting step if she's stepping into another winning team and Mm -hmm. is expected to carry that on. Well, it looks like it's pretty much almost a done deal. Uh, So we'll be interesting to see when... Pasta's almost served. We got that. That's almost quite clever. Do you know oh, what? I'll, I'll oh. actually, uh, yeah, I was like, do I take the piss? Actually, no, that's actually quite smart. Oh, thanks. Oh, I, was gonna, I was going to ask Finn to cut that from your reaction. What a great way to end section one. Thank Keep you. it in.